This is James Com. I got on the bike, bringing you another half ass production. And today we're coming to you from 193 Grand Street, Parker's Box. And we're going to take a little look at BPL, Stephen Brower. Well, I'll just read from the press release here. Parker's Box is delighted to announce the first ever public presentation of unclassified artifacts, documents, projects, objects, models, and paraphernalia from the headquarters of the Aerospace Dwarf Company, BPL, Brower Propulsion Laboratory. Okay, so that gives you the premise for the exhibition. I've got a selection of assemblage pieces here in Plexiglass vitrines. This looks like somebody's homemade high tech space uh, tracking systems and other paraphernalia. Oh, looks like I get a little space pack with a parachute. Oh, we've got a lot of documentation, dear Steve Brower. Further to our recent disclosure, we can confirm our invitation to you to attend the comic book event. <laughs> okay. This is a nice piece. This looks like a little Mars rover. Okay. The Limper. Limited Intelligence Marginally Produced Exploration Rover. is beautiful with all the aluminum and bronze and brass and wires. I don't know whether this would get too far down the road though. We got a little camera there. Very nice little case. This must be central headquarters here desk with the digital clock. Oh, I think this is a little camera here. Let's see. Oh. Nineteen thirty. Oh. It's about an hour fast. Oh, this is fun. Child astronaut test suit. In an earlier Republican iteration of BPL, a contract was awarded to develop a spacesuit for a chimp or an orphan. Oh boy, so Ronald Reagan could have sent his monkey Bonzo up to the moon or to Mars. That's pretty cute. This almost looks authentic. Oh, I've got a little scale model of them. This is the BPL test laboratories here. <laughs> Could also have a little meth lab in there too. Oh, BPL manufactured tools. Scoop, hammer, roller, and a paintbrush. That looks nice and high tech. I wonder if this is a lunar module. Could be. That's the BPL space station. The audience at Conrad Carpenter's funeral launch. The life of Conrad Carpenter astronaut. Oh, 
These are all original series ink and hand colored. This is an impressive model. We spent a lot of time cutting foam core and cardboard. This is a Munin study model, 2007, foam core wood paper glue. 28 by 33 by 19 inches. $3,000. Munin Mission logo. Oh, the ravens take over the world. Mars and its inhabitants, 1876. Now we're talking with Alan Williams, the proprietor here at Parker's Box. You want to talk about the show a little bit? You said that you've got an online camera here on well, the, I was, I was just gonna say the this, headquarters this, desk? Yeah, this is um, Mission Control. Mission Control. And uh, oh. earlier in oh, the day... There's James a, Common. Earlier in the day we had a power outage and um, Steve Brower immediately telephoned the gallery and said, that Mission Control has crashed. What's mission Control on? is down. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. How long has he been working on this? This is a lot of... Uh, well, in a way, it's, things um, he's got going here. He's uh, he's created an, uh, a recent new entity, which is the Brow Propulsion Lab, which it, in a way is, has been a way of bringing together a number of his projects, some of which go back several years. So it's, uh, it's been, I think it's been a really interesting project for tying in a lot of uh, his, different things he yeah, had going at the same time. That's right, yeah. Okay. Everything is very logical, and, uh, except that it's very ambiguous. You don't know exactly what's fact and fiction. And I think that, that the question of authenticity is a big uh, issue these days. You know, yeah. I think that people are kind of uh, working for authenticity in art rather than beauty. So that could be the new, you well, know, the, the new what is art question. Sure. I mean, the thing with, um, with this show is that there are a number of missions that are you know, proposed as being the missions of the Brow Propulsion Lab. And most of them, in fact, were carried out. Some of them were aborted early, early on. Okay. But a lot of them actually happened. And, uh, Has he blown anything up yet? Um, I don't think he's blown, well... I, we're I, working I on that he, part. He has blown things up. But, oh, good! But, um, uh, he's certainly been, you know, sending stuff into the skies and things like that. All right. Uh, well, thanks, Alan. Thank you. This is his actual workshop here? Those are, those are the three Brower Propulsion Lab facilities. The three Brower Propulsion Lab facilities. This, uh, I maquette. did, I looked at the little yeah. maquette. So this is, this the is a lot of stuff he's got piled up here. The uh, Bushwick facility on the Navy Yard. Yes. Bushwick, Brooklyn? Yes. Oh, wow. And the Brooklyn Navy Yards? Uh, Navy Yard, yeah. Okay, so he's a Brooklyn artist basically then, right? Okay. That's nice to know. Summer facility in New Hampshire, which is basically a bar. This is James Calm reporting on the BPL project. Steve Brower here at Parker's Box on Grand Street here in Williamsburg. Thanks, Kate.